Hey guys, it's me Greg. So as you can see I turned my Audi on. I'm here at a private airfield um, and right now I should be ready to fly, right? Because it's on, it's found me, the GPS is there. Well, not quite. First thing you got to do when you get to any spot is you need to add the waypoint. Now you can add the waypoint or you can add it as an airstrip and the difference is, and I'll show you in a second, is this map is based on all of the airstrips on sectional maps so when you preload your Audi up all these pop up this particular airfields not here so I would go to menu I would go to add a waypoint okay it's gonna say click to add the waypoint where I'm at now if you look up here that's highlighted at the name so I want to go to the keyboard I'm gonna name this waypoint the name of the airport which is Bell Space Air okay I'm going to say OK. I'm also not going to put it as a waypoint. That would save it, but I want to change that and change it into a grass airfield. And I'm going to say OK. So now there it is. The airfield's popped up. All right. Now the second thing I want to do is I want to make sure that I save it. So once again, I go over. To the menu I go to next and I hit that save settings which you all love and I'm going to save the profile on the waypoints yes I'm going to do all that now if you don't save that it's just not going to pop up next time uh, but if you do save it and you're flying out of here a lot then it's going to pop up so if you don't save it it's not a huge big deal but you know I like to save things as waypoints where I fly or excuse me as airfields or whatever where I fly so that way later I might be at at home and say go to home because I have my home saved and fly over my house or go to Bel Air because I started off at a different airfield and now I just want to fly over here you know and check it out um, I might go to a park or a waterfall and add that so that as a waypoint and therefore it won't show up on the map but I can go into that list and say go to and I want to go to Niagara Falls let's say because I saved it but in the beginning here, you want to do it because not only did it save the waypoint, if you looked in the beginning, the altitude was all off. So now the altitude lines up with this, where I'm at, okay? The reason this is bouncing around like this is because I'm, I haven't started a flight even though it's it's going to in a little bit. And if you look, Tiamico is up here, and I'm actually down here. Um... The Amico is actually south of me, and the reason was the last time I had this set up, I was at menus, and if I went to a map orientation, I had goal up. A lot of people, I'll put it in north up, like north up, and now you can see it's just like you were looking at a map. Okay, the Amico is south of me, Bel Air is where I'm at, but I like to do goal up, so I'm because when I'm flying. Oh, let's get out of this for a second. When I'm flying, you'll see why. So let's just say I'm going to fly over to D'Amico. So we're going to go to Menu, and I'm going to use Go To. I'm not going to use Task. I'm going to use Go To. That screen will pop up. I want to go to D'Amico, all right? And I'm going to say Go To. So now you can see there's a line there. If I blew, blew this up, okay, it would get bigger and and whatnot. So now... It's still north up. So that means as this thing's turning around once I'm going, all my turns, if it, you know, if I was looking at the map, it would be like I'd have to turn right. But the reality is I'd have to turn left because it's showing map up. So if I go to the map orientation, menu, map orientation, and go goal up, now you can see, you know, when I take off and get going, it's showing me actually that Del Amico, even though it's south, it's kind of like, you know, it's like I had a map and then I turned it around. So now I know where I'm flying to. So I like flying with goal up. Just keep that in mind. If you look like your bearings are all way off, you could be north up or goal up. Just check that. But that's how you do that. So I want to save all that. Menu, next, save settings, save profile, yes. So if I flew out of this airport like almost every other day, next time I boot this up, it's going to have this pop up here. If I want to change that, say menu, say go to, 
Now I want to go somewhere else, like let's say the Finger Lakes Airport, which is even further. Okay, I would say go to. And now Finger Lakes Airport is way south of me, so I'd have to change, um, go to menu and change, you know, my, my map mileage to even get there. So now you can see Finger Lakes Airport's way down there towards the Finger Lakes. Once again, I'm showing it as the point up. Um, so I hope this helps you. Like the video, share the video with people. And I know I told you that I was going to get into tasks, but that's going to be another video. This took a little longer. Um, once again, I want to get out of here now. I'm going to hit exit. And I'm going to save everything, yes, because I don't want to punch it back in. So that waypoint that I save will actually be on the map next time I put put it up and going to the Finger Lakes Airport. If I would have said no, then, then that wouldn't pop up. So I hope you found that interesting. Like the video, save the video, share the video, and subscribe to my channel. Thanks, guys. Have a great one. Bye.